My name is Guha, G-U-H-A, Bala, B-A-L-A, and I'm a studio head and co-founder of Vicarious Visions, the developers of Skyliner's Spot Force. Okay. Uh, so tell us a little about the world of Skylanders uh, Swap Force. So Skylanders Swap Force is uh, set in the Skylands. It's a magical world in the sky uh, and uh, full of fantastical destinations. Lots of different varieties, jungles, um, snowy areas, uh, magical areas. Uh, and uh, it's a game that uh, really allows uh, children to bring their imaginations to life. And it's centered around the magic of bringing toys to life. In Skylander Spa Force, uh, there's an all new innovation uh, of bringing toys to life, uh, and that's mixing and matching. Um, so the Spa Force are a special group of Skylanders, Skylanders that have the power to mix their top and their bottom halves. Uh, with this and 16 new Spa Force Skylanders, children can create over 250 new Skylanders. Each part is independently upgradable, so not only can children mix and match and find the best Skylander for the job to uh, go through the adventure, um, they can also um, bring to life uh, these characters in unique and original ways uh, in the video game. So uh, Swap Force seems a little bit more ambitious than, um, than Giants previously. Uh, what took you to innovate it? Uh, when, we, uh, when the original idea for Skylander Spire's adventure was conceived, uh, we knew we had something special, the magic of bringing toys to life, um, that uh, is really a universal fantasy for children around the world. It's something that I would have loved to do when I was a kid. Um, actually, I, honestly, I still love to do it today. Uh, and uh, when we had that, we knew that uh, what would keep this special is to bring out a new big innovation every year. So even from that very beginning, we started working on what would be special and new and truly magical, and that's where the idea for Spock Force came. Uh, into being, uh, and um, not only bringing toys to life and keeping children at the center of the experience, but also making sure that uh, your entire collection increases in value. So with Skylanders Swap Force, um, the idea allows just two Skylanders Swap Force characters to create four combinations of new Skylanders. And likewise, if I have two Sk uh, Swap Force Skylanders and my friend has two different ones, we can bring together those four and create 16 new combinations, and it goes up by the power of two. Um, with these Skylanders, or uh, with Skylanders Swap Force, we also support the entire collection of Skylanders. So all the Skylanders that you put together and leveled up uh, and gained experience with in Skylanders, Spires Adventure, and Giants uh, now come to life in true HD. So today uh, we're showing publicly the 1080p uh, resolution like your favorite Blu-ray movie for PS4. Uh, this will also be available on Xbox One. Now, all of your Skylanders come to life in this uh, high definition uh, and will have ability to have all new gameplay. Uh, so, of course, the innovation that we put into Skylander Spa Force takes uh, a lot of work, a lot of investment, a lot of effort, but it's really to keep that magic really very fresh for children and keep the value at the center of what we do. You've actually just answered my uh, next question, which was if you were going to be able to use uh, previous Skylander uh -huh. figures uh, in this in this mm -hmm. um, in this new title, mm -hmm. and basically they carry over and they're going to gain new abilities in this title. So all of your toy collection from Skylanders um, can be used in Skylanders Spot Force. They all come forward with their existing experience, uh, with their moves uh, that you've unlocked in the prior games, with their character levels, with their gold and their hats. Um, but now the level cap is raised to 20, and so you can level them up more. Um, with your new Skylanders, all of them gain the ability to jump, and in Skylanders Spock Force we have all new platforming gameplay that's available to all Skylanders. Uh, and like before, uh, each game introduces new types of gameplay variety. Uh, and so in addition to gameplay variety that you've experienced before, there are all new ways to play that all of your Skylanders can experience as well. So now, now that you've uh, said that, I was curious about how about if you take uh, Skylander from uh, Swap Force back to a previous title, mm -hmm. how does that work? So uh, all of the Skylanders in the prior games work in Skylander Swap Force, but of course because we put in all new magic and innovation into the new title, the new Skylanders won't be usable in the older games. But the, um, the old Skylanders, I meant, if you take them to Swap Force and uh -huh. then take them back, how okay. does that work? 
So if you take, um, if, if you have um, uh, uh, Spyro from Spyro's Adventure and bring him to Swap Force, um, he may be at level 10. Uh, when he comes into Swap Force, you may level him up to level 15 and then take him back to Giants, for example. And in Giants, he will be a level 15 character. But for example, Swap Force, if, it, if you raise to a level 20 and take it to Giants, he will cap out at level 15. If you unlock all of his moves in Swap Force, those moves will be unlocked in Giants. So the features available to you in Giants will be fully usable, even if you take an old Skylander back from Swap Force into Giants. That, that's that's very interesting. I would, I would not expect that. <laughs> did you think of a toy idea first and how it could work on gameplay, or did you think of the gameplay first mm -hmm. and then of putting uh, the toys in? So one of the really interesting things about Skylanders is that we create a variety of toys that children have never seen before. And that's so they can create their own adventures and stories, but then bring them to life in interesting and new ways in a video game. So when we conceive of a, uh, of a Skylander, uh, it should be something that you haven't seen before. Something that's original, that you can at once say, I think I know what that does, or what this ability is, but I really want to find out in the game. So it's designed with gameplay in mind, but designed also to tell a story in your hand designed to be fun to play with in your hands, and designed to be able to look at, so there's a high degree of craftsmanship and detail in your hands as well. And so when we come up with a new type of Skylander or conceive of a new Skylander, it's with both the toy and the video game and how you bring that to life. Um, can you give us some details about the uh, special zones that you have in Skylanders, like the elementals, the double elemental zones, mm -hmm. and the climbing, running, all that stuff? So in Skylanders Swap Force, like in the prior Skylanders games, we have elemental zones that give access to all new types of gameplay and gameplay variety. Like in the prior games, we have single elemental zones. So if you have a magic Skylander, you'll be able to access a magic elemental zone, likewise a life Skylander or life elemental zones. With the Skylander Swap Force, we also introduce dual element zones. Dual element zones can be accessible by mixing and matching Swap Force Skylanders. You take the top half of a magic and the bottom half of a life, and now you can get into a life and magic uh, a dual elemental zone. Dual elemental zones are also accessible through a co cooperative play, which is one of the important social gameplay mechanisms that's uh, really important for Skylanders. Um, so, for example, I will take a, um, in the same way a Magic Skylander and a Life Skylander uh, and, put, and be able to access a life uh, a dual elemental zone. In Skylander Swap Force, we have all new types of zones as well, and these are called Swap Force Zones. And so each Swap Force character has a unique type of movement that's associated with that Skylander. We have Skylanders with rocket boots that have access to areas where you can rocket around Skylanders with. Um, Climbing ability, so for example, one of my favorites, Washbuckler, has tentacles with suction cups. Uh, and he can use those suction cups to climb, and you can access new climb zones. Uh, there are magical Skylanders with teleportation capabilities, and now he can access teleportation zones. And so there are eight different way, eight types of new movement zones, new Swap Force zones, and these are accessible to Swap Force Skylanders. So the announcement, the announcement of Disney Infinity turned the eyes in some way for Skylanders. Um, that was a compliment for Skylanders franchise and its success. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you see it? Uh, from the very beginning with Spire's Adventure, with bringing the magic of toys to life, we knew that, hmm, I think we have a good idea on our hands, uh, and uh, this is a universal fantasy for children around the world. So we need to commit very strongly to innovation, to keeping kids at the center of what we do, uh, and also to building value in the collection and delivering value on a consistent basis, uh, basis to players. So even before we knew about competition, who they would be and what they would do, there was a very strong commitment to this. And so before we even launched Skylander Spyro's Adventure, we conceived of the idea for Swap Force so that we can deliver something very fresh and very new every year. And that's our commitment on a go-forward basis as well. Is the um, two-player mode the best for experiencing Skylanders, or do you feel that a four-player mode could do great changes for players' interactions and experience? So, Skylander Swap Force is designed with cooperative play in mind. So it's a fantastic experience for single player, but it's really fun when a friend comes over and we play together in the same uh, in the same place. 
playing together in the living room between an older sibling and a younger older brother with a younger sister or parent and child is at the heart of what makes Skylanders fun. And playing together physically in the same place with the same toy or with toys where you can see which combination your friend has just made and which parts you could trade to make new combinations, that's at the center of Skylanders Swap Force uh, as well. So the two-player co-op experience um, seems to be the best way to have a magical experience with bringing toys to life. Now, we enable two-player co-op on the same screen, so you can always know where your friend is and work together. Uh, and all of the adventure, the puzzles, the variety of gameplay, the swap zones, all designed with cooperative play in mind. So just as a uh, final question, because I know that we're running out. Okay. About the portal of, of power, will we see any changes along with the swap force? So, um, this question is specifically about portal of power. Portal of power. So with Skylander Swap Force, we uh, offer a new portal of power, uh, and that's to support the new magic in mixing and matching uh, of, the, of the Skylander Swap Force toys. Now, all of your old Skylanders will work on the new portal of power, uh, and it will uh, come as a complete set in the starter pack. The starter pack will have uh, two Swap Force characters to enable four Skylander combinations, along with a new core Skylander, Ninja Stealth Elf, um, as well as the portal of power in the game. And with that, you can play the entire game uh, and uh, provide a fantastic experience. Of course, now, if you're a Skylanders fan and bring your collection, the experience becomes richer. If you add new Swap Force characters, every time you add a new one, the combinations go up by the power of two exponentially. And so value is really at the center of what we offer, starting with the starter pack. OK, so uh, if you could just state the release dates and platforms. Mm -hmm. So Skylanders Swap Force will be available in Europe on October 18th. It'll be available on uh, Wii, Wii U, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and also Nintendo 3DS. Skylanders Swap Force will also come out for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, uh, along with the launch of those systems. Swappable, unstoppable. Skylanders Swap Force.